Hello everybody, what is going on and welcome back to the My Player Career Mode. As always, I hope you are all doing well. Today we wrap up our Champions League group stages. We find out if we make it through to the knockout rounds, which if we don't, won't be very good for us this season as that is one of the trophies we are trying to win. And we look to open up a bit more of a gap on second place Atletico Madrid. I've also moved up the minutes per half by one. So we go from playing four minutes a half up to five to try and allow us to see a few more chances per game because that's one thing that we really struggled with in the last episode. But we did not struggle with it in this first game and the only post-com game of today as we went away to Osasuna. We took the lead after the 17th minute and I've got to say I really enjoyed our little touch there to take it away from the defender. Sold him a dream as he slid in. But our goalkeeper had to be alert because there was a chance for them to get an equalising goal in the game. But after that, we basically took hold of it and made sure to dominate the rest of this one. We went 2-0 up. Rashika at the back post after I found him working our way into the penalty area with a bit of skill. And there was the tap-in, really. Couldn't miss from that position. And then in the second half, with about 20 minutes left, we went 3-0 in front. Excellent work here from Gabriel Jesus. Found us with a... Through ball, and we seem to have all the time in the world to pick our spot and make it 3-0. And lastly, three became four, as with the last sort of 10 minutes, we just kind of, you know, kept possession, eventually created the chance. Jesus got through from a very close angle, managed to squeeze it in at the near post, and that was four. Although, we did actually give them an opportunity to ruin Allison's clean sheet as a moment of what I'll call madness from Gaia here, makes a mistake as he tries to play the ball out quickly. Maybe it was my fault for asking for the pass. He loses it and then quickly goes to tackle the player, giving away a penalty in the process, which they go on to miss, much to Allison's uh, delight as he will hold on to his clean sheet. And that was the way the game would finish. And as I mentioned, that's the only post -com match of the day. Let's jump to our first live game where we're up against Shakhtar. Victory for us and a defeat for Benfica. We'll see us definitely through the group in second place. Melendo towards Rashika, and now inside the penalty area, Rashika sends it across Goretzka with the first chance. And the keeper makes the save. We do have a corner though. And I'll try to keep you as updated as I can with the other game going on between Benfica and Wolfsburg. So after today, essentially that Wolfsburg game that we have coming up in our last game of the group stage may just be void because if they win, They'll be four ahead and we won't be able to catch them. But equally, if we win here and they do, that means we are through as uh, a second place. Rashika's corner into that near post again. Declan Rice with his header. It goes wide, but this is a good start from us. Rashika again goes for the back heel at the near post. And that is the opening goal. Rifled home. We were never going to miss that in that position. Barcelona lead. And that's what we needed. Only 15 minutes in, a matter of minutes after our opening chance from Leon Goretzka. And then that header from Rice. And it was Rashika again involved. Nice back heel into our path. And at this point, there's only one place I'm putting that. And that is at the near post. A lot of power behind it as well. If we'd have missed that, yeah, I'd have had to, um, I'd have had to kind of pretty much go off the pitch. Because I should not be missing those. And I haven't. Jesus towards Melendo, good first touch, and now he pulls it back on the right foot, off towards Jesus, the shot is deflected, it falls towards the back post, we pick it up, and we found the top corner, it's 2-0 Barca, and what a finish that is, it's all turning golden for us right here today, a 4-0 winning game one, and now, what's seemingly looking like this could be a similar story here in game two, Gabriel Jesus shot blocked and then it fell to us at the back post. Composure to pull it back on the favoured left side. And it doesn't matter what goalkeeper was in net. They would never save that anyway. That is quality. Rashika again finds us again. And that's the ball into the box. Goretzka's there. It's three for Barcelona. And Shakhtar who are yet to pick up a single point in this Champions League group stages are headed for a bit of a convincing defeat here to say the very least I mean it's good for us but I kind of feel a little bit bad for them as I said no points picked up they don't look like they're going to get anything from this game either and uh, it's been one of those Champions League runs for them that they'll want to forget but the way that this has started this could be really bad for them in terms of scoreline 
Goal difference really doesn't make too much of a difference to us, I don't think. So we'll just keep going. But it's wave after wave of Barcelona attack right now. And I am loving the fact that we are seeing more from us today. The one thing that we didn't see last time out was the chances. We were a bit poor in front of goal. And we just didn't create much today. That can't be said from the first two games. Solomon, a minute and a half till half time. Delict with a challenge. And I did think that that was a penalty when I saw Solomon go to ground. It is a penalty, definitely. And there's an opportunity here then for Shakhtar to get a goal back. You have to say, though, I, I don't think it's going to matter too much on the way this game will finish. But it's something, maybe, for the away fans to celebrate here. As we are a minute from the half-time whistle. It will be Solomon to take it. Up against Allison. He's hit the crossbar. <laughs> Man, it's just not been their day so far. Tete, though, now looking for a chance again. As Declan Rice makes the challenge. There's the half-time whistle. It is 3-0 at the break. It could have easily been 3-1. That penalty cannoning back off the crossbar. But so far, so good. Jesus with the ball through. And now we're looking inside the penalty area. Maybe for somebody available. There's Gabriel Jesus. It is four for Barcelona. And there's still 32 minutes of football to be played. In the other game between Wolfsburg and Benfica, that at the moment, the last time I saw, was 1-1. So as it stands, I think we still have a shot at the top spot in the group. And Shakhtar do have a chance themselves here as Marcus Antonio. His volley is just wide as that is the end of our game, by the way. The substitution has come through. It would have been nice to get a hat-trick, especially the start we made to the game, but... I'm not too worried about that. There has just been another goal as well in the other game. Wolfsburg now lead by two goals to one. So, yeah, it does mean they'll get top spot if that stays as is because I believe that'll keep them four ahead. We've only three to play for. So it's not the end of the world. It'll just mean that um, we will only go through a second. But it does mean that we will be definitely through after this game. Piontek slides it to Alenia. He goes to Barrow. Lovely football. And that's number five for Barcelona. Piontek at the back post, found by Romario Barrow. And there is the full-time whistle then from the game. It finishes 5-0. And what a way to win it as well. And if it did stay the same in the Wolfsburg game, then that does mean we are through in second. We'll take a look at that after this game. And then I believe it is Valencia, our next game of the day. So I'll see you for that in a moment. So there you have it. We are second in our Champions League group and that is how it will finish. Four points behind Wolfsburg with them still to play. But we can't go up. We can't go down. We're through in second. We'll take a look at some of the other groups once they are locked in and finished. For us though, we now move to our next game, which is back in the league up against Valencia. Who, where are they currently? It'll, uh, it'll be interesting to see because they're not in the top six. They're down in eighth. Six wins, three draws, four defeats. From their opening 13 games, we hold a 100% win record so far in the league. So let's look to continue that into this game here. And um, yeah, another big three points. We've actually got Atletico Madrid coming up in the not too distant future. It'll be in the next video, I think. So there you have it. Driving towards the Valencia penalty area, pulling it back. And now the shot from Jesus into the bottom corner. And we have the lead here after 40 minutes. And I'll tell you right now, this was not the, the best start to a game we've, we've seen today. Valencia sitting in their own half, making it difficult to really break them down, looking for counter-attacking opportunities. But at least we've got the breakthrough, a couple of half chances really up until this point. And Gabriel Jesus finds a little bit of space. And with the left foot, it's a class finish past the goalkeeper. There's an argument maybe that Melendo there has blocked the goalkeeper's view. I'm not sure if he's in an offside position or not. So it doesn't really matter too much if he, if he isn't offside. But if he is, Valencia will use that as their argument that that should have been called offside. But regardless, we take the lead. And that now means that Valencia have to change their game plan slightly. So that could work more in our favour as that's a definite free kick referee. And a yellow card for Correa surely as well to follow. Look at Werner. Werner's through if we can find him. And yes, we can. And Timo Werner makes it two for Barcelona. And that is the three points in the bag. And that is the space that we needed a bit more of to open up that we weren't seeing when we were at nil-nil. As Valencia, as the game goes on, they're beginning to try and go a bit, for, a bit more forward and that's causing them to have these gaps in their defence. Werner's come on for Melendo and pretty much one of the first touches he's had, he scored the goal. 
Romario's ball forward. Werner is in possession. He finds us. Romario's there with a little flick round the corner. The shot comes in. And Rivero with a big save with about eight minutes to play. I mean, we, we are dominating this game, it's safe to say. And Valencia haven't really had a look in at all throughout the entirety of this match. Valencia on the edge of our penalty area. We are over the time and that will end off the game as they lose possession. A 2-0 win in the end. We got an assist on both of the goals. So we didn't have like, you know, the best time personally in front of goal, but our team did today. And we just had to sort of lay it on the plate for them. Jesus started off with that class finish into the bottom left corner. And then we found our second to make sure of the points. All in all, that was a pretty good performance, right? We didn't really give anything the way of Valencia. And um, yeah, it was good to see Werner getting his goal. Maybe he'll start a few more games now as well. But next up, Real Velikerno. Goretzka with the ball through. Melendo's in and the first save of the game comes through from Bardi. Real Velikerno, third from bottom in the league. Picked up six points from their opening 14 games. As Declan Rice overhead kick is essentially cleared off the line. Out of all the players to even attempt that, I would not expect Rice to be the one. But the start to this game that we have made, we're showing intent of attacking early on here. Goretzka again finds us. We've got uh, support in Gaia. Now he finds Jesus, who surely will make it 1-0. First time it's the post. Second time it is blocked by Thiago Martins. And you sense the goal is coming. And there is the half-time whistle. So far, we are being held by Rayo Velikerno. And they, those chances you saw earlier... Not really anything else to show you after that. So, yeah, we need a response in the second half. Got to find a way to take the lead in the game. Gaia, Goretzka finds us. And now we've got the pass in front. Melendo, he's offside. It won't count. Oh, are we about to be held by Velikerno? This is not looking promising, guys. We're a little bit off the races today. Yeah, way too late. I mean, I'll be honest. I did try and play it first time, but... um. My guy took a touch, so with half an hour to play, I'm not so sure we will find our way in front in this game. We're just not finding our passing game right now. Rashika there needs to play it a lot sooner than he did out wide towards Jesus. Now, thankfully, we are probably going to create a chance from this. Maybe. Jesus towards Melendo. Back heels it. I took my time to take the touch. Have we completely missed the target there? Are you joking me? I mean, I know it's on my right foot. But I don't know how I've missed it that bad. 15 minutes left. Romario into the penalty area. We are still searching for the, what could be the winning goal here. Melendo with the touch and Bardi with the save. It is a poor shot by all accounts in the end though. He just doesn't connect with the ball well enough. Straight at the keeper. What a frustrating game we're seeing here. Oh man. Corner ball. Romario in. And that's going to be looking like it's got cleared away. Not quite. Gaia finds us. The shot's just not on, though. There's too many bodies in between us. Alexander-Arnold now plays it across. Melendo! Yes! 12 minutes from time. We've done it. I genuinely thought it was going to be one of those days where we just not find the goal to win the game. Real Velikerno have offered nothing going forward. Their game plan has been to play for the point here, and they very nearly have done it. If they score now, between now and the end, I'll, just, I'll, I'll be so unhappy. Full time in this game then. And we have managed to pick up the three points. What a strange performance though. For large parts, we looked like a shadow of the Barcelona that we're, we're, like, we're, we're usually you know, seeing. Especially today as well. We've been free-flowing. We've been attacking with intent. We've seen a lot of goals as well. But for some reason, you know... It's, in this game, it just didn't seem to be working out. Melendo's goal, though. Make sure we keep hold of our 100% win rate this season in the league. Final group stage game of our Champions League finishes 1-0 as we beat Wolfsburg. But it has no effect on the group. We'll, uh, we'll skip a few days before this Villarreal game. Uh, I will be ending the episode here, though. Just to see if the draw has been made for the knockout rounds. I believe it takes a little bit of time to actually work out, so we will check that. But as we end up the day anyway, we are top of La Liga still after 15 games. Max points picked up, which is really cool to say. Um, hopefully that continues. We've got Madrid just behind us, and then a, what is that, eight-point gap to Real in third. So that's pretty cool to see as well. The Champions League then 
has it all finished? It doesn't look like it. No. So, um, yeah, the group stages. We'll have a quick look, I guess, around. We could get Juve out of Group H. Atletico won that group. We could get Leverkusen. Oh, sorry. Wait, no. We finished second, didn't we? So, yeah. Um, looking at the groups, we're going to be playing a group winner from another group. So, City. Maybe. Manchester United. Those two are pretty difficult. Milan as well. PSG didn't even win their group. Wow. Liverpool. And Bayern, <laughs> I mean, look how close these groups are elsewhere. Roma could be a game we get. I think Roma right now are probably the one I'm looking at as, as the one I want. Maybe Napoli as well. None of them are easy games, but um, looking at the teams who we could get, they're probably the two, Roma and Napoli, I'd say, that um, I would fancy our chances against, essentially. I want to say a massive thank you for watching today's episode and taking time out of your day to tune into one of my videos. If you did enjoy it, a like would be greatly appreciated. Thank you for all of the support across the channel as well. I appreciate that. I will try and get you guys another episode out of this series pretty soon. I'm going to try and give you guys a few more videos this week um, to make up for the support that you guys have been showing me. We do now have, of course, the release date as well of FIFA 21, which I think is in October this year, not September. Um, so we've still got a bit of time to finish off this series and the Road to Glory career mode as well. Until next time, have a great day. Have a great evening. Uh, stay safe, and I will see you all again very, very soon. Adios!